Ladies, sexual harassment is a global issue. It's not just in the US. In my country, sexual harassment is rampant. It's mm. tremendous. In every minute, 10 girls are being raped and in our country. And the woman is blamed. This needs to stop. This is not okay. Yeah, of course. This cannot go on like that. Whether it's catcalling, somebody touching your body, and the problem is sometimes, even if you would seek help, the person you're asking for like help from, he would also sexually harass mm -hmm. you. Men have to think, what if this was my sister? What if this was my daughter? daughter. It's not just thinking, oh, she's, she could be my mother, she could be my daughter, she could be my sister. She's a human being, period. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is it. So, what do we do with regards to making sure that there is integrity, that people are being called out for the wrong that they've been doing. I think it's what you said, it's calling people out. It's having the strength and encouraging other people to stand up and say this is wrong. And the beauty of Miss Universe is that we're throwing pebbles into the river and they're slowly spreading ripples. But because there's 92, 92 of us. 92. It's like, it's like we're making huge. waves. And hopefully yeah. there will be more. Yes. Hopefully yes. there will be more. We're a stone. Yeah. We're yeah. 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 92 yeah. strong. Yeah. And it's about yeah. coming together as one and making that change. Welcome back to Miss Universe. And I am in the middle of all the action backstage, moments before the evening out competition. And I'm here with Jamaica. Okay, girl, you are, first of all, you're stunning. Second of all, I want to know your strategy. My strategy just to exude confidence this evening and just to work my gown. Girl, you're working it for sure. Okay, the evening gown is about to start. Let's get the preview from Carson and Lou. Guys. Hey there, uh, Lou. The evening gown is my favorite part of it's the entire very competition mm -hmm. because we get to see amazing fashion creations from Absolutely. across the globe. A lot of the girls are going to be wearing creations the from are their home countries, but their yes. personality is more South Africa, right. giving me lots of personality. And Jamaica works that gown like she just did. She'll get in trouble from me later. So it's it's how you Elegance, wear the dress. Elegant, sophistication, not too much. Presentation. There we go. All right, let's head it back to Steve. Well, the night began with 92 women. 16 survived the regionals, and now just 10 world-class contestants remain. Now it's time for the evening gown competition, which is why I got all dressed up tonight. I am so fly. Uh, we're going to have ourselves a classy formal affair, folks. Home voting is open again, so grab your devices. Uh, if you're ready, go to vote.missuniverse.com or tweet with hashtag Miss Universe, hashtag country. Now it's time for the evening gown competition with a live performance by eight-time Grammy winner, Fergie. Welcome our top 10 finalists, Venezuela. Now, Venezuela is uh, wearing a silver and white, and a lot of the women have chosen white. A lot of our winners have worn white. This is, I think, super elegant, simple hair, a really embellished bodice, and then a long, simple, flowing uh, ivory skirt. This is a really glamorous, beautiful presentation. USA. 
This is really different for USA. She's ordinarily not this sexy. She's bringing it tonight. Wow, USA, walk, baby. I believe that's called slaying. Philippines. Big crowd favorite with the Philippines here tonight. This is a very simple, again, a metallic with a little bit of those uh, marabou feather details at the hemline. Curvy, beautiful, just enough skin showing. Really stunning. Canada. Canada is giving you train. Look at the face, eye contact, great posture, working the dress. The dress is not working her. Go, Canada. Beautiful. South Africa. So much personality from South Africa. Working the camera and working this dress. A bit covered up, but a great uh, hemline detail. Nude with a dramatic kind of crystallized embellishment and an art deco detail. Very sophisticated. I want to pick up that chick. He bounced, left, it was over, never came back. About daddy after he left. Now it's just mama and them kids. And she said, I'll hold it down, don't you worry, we'll find a way. No matter how I make sure the bills get paid. She gave it all and thank God the mouse got fed. She prayed this like it would end. When everything around us starts to fall, we rise up again to the call. of our top 10 finalists, Spain. Spain has been consistent throughout the entire pageant. She's a strong contender, and I love that she added feathers to make her appear a lot softer. Brazil. Here comes Brazil in this powerful red really a statement color. Uh, Red says, notice me, take a look. And I love the modernity of the uh, round uh, matte sequence. Really cool. Colombia. Colombia has come to take no hostages. What a dress. She can walk, she's sexy, she's smooth. She can pose. Look at the face. Look at the face. Yes. That's what I mean about giving face. Go, Colombia. Thailand. Thailand, another big crowd favorite here tonight in this deep, deep navy blue with that long cape sleeve. This is a dress that you can really uh, feel dramatic in. She's giving us that glamour. Really love this look. Jamaica. Beautiful. She's not overworking those sleeves. Just enough for air to get under it. That color. Love yellow on stage. Just enough transparency where it's not too overt. Beautiful. Beautiful Jamaica. So talk to me, feel like you need it. They send in the medic. This is so bad, he's bleeding. The soldier won't help me know. It's time to get up to the front of the line. The call to the battle is straight for the line. Way, 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 way. There's nothing that's holding you down. We're stuck on the ground, back on the crown. Cause you are a warrior, you're more than you know. I'm just a little.
Show your love for Fergie. Here are your top 10 finalists. Let's get the inside story from Carson and Lou. Thanks, Steve. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. I love that Thailand didn't move her sleeves at all. I noticed Often that. Often you don't need to touch the dress. No, Let the dress do what it do. And, you know, it, the tonight was about a diversity of color. Absolutely. It was about a lot of glamour. A lot of personality, a lot of sex appeal. Very individual. A yes. lot of your many years Good birth, job, ladies. all wore white. Last year, the top three were all in gold, and this year, we saw a lot of really We also saw unique. a lot of face movement. We the did. The face must move. You cannot hold the entire face, the entire pageant, and win Miss Universe. Not gonna happen. My face doesn't ever move. Oh, God. Sorry. All right, take it away, Steve. All right, thanks, guys. Now that our 10 finalists have dazzled the stage, it's all up to our judges and you viewers at home. Five of these women will be moving one step closer to their dreams. It's all going down after the break. This is Miss Universe.